this. This is fun. The map is called Driz. Or Gris? I don't know how you say this. Giris? Oh, wow. Dirt and tech by the looks of it. Interesting scenery. I actually like this a lot. It is unmistakable where the route is. I think I will never go wrong on this map. You put the things you want people to see in color and you make everything else dark and gray. 9 p.m. on time zone? Yeah, if you're curious about the segmented run, it's in two hours, all right? The Deep to Two segmented run. We're releasing it today. It's, it's so hype. I think everyone's gonna be, uh, be really surprised at some things. Getting Div 1 on God? Let's go, Janek, let's go. Let's both get, uh, Div 1. Play your best. So no Survivor? Yeah, I think we're skipping Survivor, but we'll see. Oh. <laughs> Just as I said, I wouldn't go wrong. Okay. Gray here. Gray lines in the dirt. Uh, that actually maybe reduces a little bit of this ability, but... No, this looks very fine. It's been a while since I played a lot of couple of days, guys. I checked my, um... My stats recently, and I haven't played... Like, more than five couple of days this month. Okay, I'm, I'm playing less and less of them. But they are Hi, what you fun. playing my first cop today. Good luck. I've been struggling with the goals on the past few, so I don't have very high hopes, but excited to see how I can do smile. You get so much better, I think, by playing them. You learn to be more consistent because the format kind of forces you to be. And so uh, good luck to everyone playing. You also learn to uh, Push a bit extra, I think, when uh, if you're able to pay attention to splits and all that. But I'm happy to uh, try to teach this map as I'm learning it. I'll obviously pick up more and more stuff, but already, I can tell you this mapper has done a really good job with the gears. There's a gear up when you straighten out the car here before you turn down the dirt, and then another gear right after. Now you have fourth gear, and you want to hold on to this up the hill. It's very fast if you're able to do that. Just by driving speed, by driving with speed. Another two drifts here, and I think you want to start a bit wider so you don't get pushed so wide. Go low across this, it's an auto slide up. Close to the flag so you can push low around this. I missed that. I think here you just go low because cruise control. Didn't fully understand. Close to the arrow here so you have all the space for the drift and you can carry more the faster you are obviously the better the jump cool map especially the start though i think there's gonna be some no slide strategy like you can probably do this for example yeah not sure how much faster that's gonna be if you do it really well but i think it's faster better drift here and then I wanted to go all the way wide to try to get... I'm not sure if this is better. Maybe it felt like I gained a bit. This I think is good because you use the road to readjust. Here I'm going to gain a lot. Gaining here too. Can go low here. Oh, this is nice. Like 46. 46.9? Half a second behind the combo. Who's already driven a very fast time. That's good. Yeah, I think you can go closer to the checkpoint because you're not going to get airtime. This turn is by far the weirdest one. Oh, but it's like this, right? Yeah, 20 more speed. So if I can control that, I'm going to win a lot of time. But I'm point 0.2 behind at the checkpoint, is that real? And the motor has a point 0.1 advantage on me on this one. I cannot tell if their splits are just 
temporarily faster or faster overall. But I'll be aware I might need to change my starting line. Later. This is good. Ah, this is bad. <laughs> Lost so much time here. Full risk. I might win. Yeah, hello, my name is Cocked from the future, and I got one by Virtual. <laughs> Ooh. Nice to meet you, couple today from the future. How you doing? I knew we'd get along. I think maybe they get a jump there, and so their drift here becomes worse. And that's why the splits look like they do. I'm gonna trust my, my instincts on that. A bad drift here, but the inside of the dirt is not scary. It's actually very... I think it's a modified inside of the dirt, because it's usually more bumpy. That's what it feels like. Very bad drift, but I want to see this again. This felt like a very good drift. Bad exit. I can gain right here. By going higher up to the flag and then low. Oh, this is... Again, not great. Hmm... There's a lot in that middle part for me, I'm pretty sure. Okay, undoubtedly. Oh, a little bit wider. Yeah, my starts were bad. It's a little bit wider. Because you get an earlier nose slide here. And then, need to not hit the bump on the inside. That's good. No, okay. The angle needs to be pointing inward. It's really hard. Point two behind is kind of wild. Point two again. No, 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 no. My start is bad. Hang on. What's going on? Do they just go here? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. You can't be too much in your own head, guys. You have to look at splits if you realize there's something wrong. Okay, I'm glad I spotted that. I was just going off of what I thought, but yeah. Okay, eight minutes to perfect this. Oh man. Hitting a lot of bumps. Let's see. That's good. Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, I'm not feeling the flow in that turn. That's nice. Set up wide. And you need a... You need a drift into that or something, you know? Let's complete a run here before we get too stuck. Regardless of what it is. It's probably not gonna be my final improvement. But I need to complete a run here. Really weak ending, like... That was crazy. I lost point two in the last drift alone. Okay. Fixable though, it's very fixable. No. Better 
here. Yeah, good to be good. That should be the mission one, actually. I'd be surprised, but I have been before. That was nice, though. This is nice. Just here I can gain a lot of things. Still more on the inside than what I want. Ah, that's too wide. I'm gonna full risk. Drift is tight. When is Bonkip? Bonkip is tomorrow. But sad news, I'm at an event tomorrow, so I'm not streaming Bonkip, unfortunately. So I will not be able to play. It's not from today, though. That's good. That was a big throw. That was basically first place, actually. That was faster than Elcon. <laughs> With splits. That's guys, that right there is what we call concealing our pace. Like I could have finished in first, but then everyone would know my lines. So by throwing, nobody knows how to drive this map properly. And that could be first. Ah, uh, it's not. It's third. But we're doing pretty good though. We're doing pretty good. Spamming first, okay. Yeah, there's gonna be a streamer battle. Look at this. Scrappy, Granati, myself, and Spam. All top 10. Alcon as well, though he doesn't stream that much anymore. Could count him as a streamer. Is the inside the pillar in the start not faster? Is anyone doing that? I think you end up in complete gear hell. Oh. Oh wait, you're not that dumb for that suggestion. That might actually be faster. I'm going equal here, and that was my first attempt at it. Bro, shh. Don't tell anyone else, alright? Fix Zoro, that's you and me and this chat's secret. No snitches. The hell? Oh, uh, Elcon might actually have it with a 0.7. How much side can I jump here? Okay, not all the way, but close. Like, it's less speed, but yeah, you can see versus my ghost, it probably gains a few hundredths. Probably gains a few hundredths. Scrappy is doing it. Oh, you hit some really strange bumps, though. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, actually. I wonder if across a lot of runs, you get something that's just really hard to control and then crash out in a couple of days. Knockouts. I would definitely say to the person earlier that's playing their first couple of days, don't do that. Go for uh, go for around the pole. 
So around the pole is pretty solid. And it's not risky. I think I'm going around the pole. Having seen a few attempts at it now. Like, unless there's some trick to make it better, I want to go around it. Oh, I can drift tap there, maybe, to get a down downwards angle. Oh, it is fast. Bro. But it's like, it's literally one or two hundredths for me. <laughs> Consistency wise. Yeah, we did pretty well here. Pretty good quality. Let's, uh, let's take a look at record. The person says, Samantha says, I was literally practicing inside pole and it feels impossible. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, for a couple of the day, you need to realize people in Division 1 crash, right? So if you qualify Division 30, whatever division it is, they're going to crash even more. You just want to be consistent and you win. And I'm going to try to practice what I preach. Very interesting drift setup from local. Why? It's so wide. He misses the bump. That looks easier to actually to execute. Nice water speed here though. Making this drift harder. IMO. Low. And here I wanted more speed. That looks like a bad approach. He's gonna get pushed very hard here. Oh, but he still gets the upper road. And so still good speed. Now he still lost time in that segment. I would wager. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care at all. With a perfect drift, you can actually risk by just jumping straight into the finish. Wow. Bro, what a drift. What a drift. Segment run reveal at 9? Yes. Uh, Central European time. So in 2 hours, give or take. That's what everyone's asking about. Guys, deep tip to run in, if you look at the time right now, 1917 at the top, when it's 21 flat. I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting for that long, but that's when we're publishing it. That, that's when uh, when video goes up. Until then, we can just have fun playing Trackmania, but get hype, you know? It's exciting. What does a segmented run mean? Every jump driven individually. So jump one is then spliced, and then we add jump number two. And we do every jump perfectly. And we're just curious to see what the final time is. Essentially what a perfect human run on deep dip looks like. And we kind of know the time now. You can make your prediction on what you think it might be, but you'll see it later on. For reference, current world record is 37 minutes. And the combined floor records, if you combine all the floors and the world records on them, you get 28, 29 minutes. I don't actually know the number. Something around there. And our run is unknown right now. It's unknown. Are you doing Survivor Cup? No, I'm skipping it today. Skipping it. The segmented run is actually 38 minutes and the full run is inhumane. I mean... Oh, this is smart though, practicing the last, last turn. Like, I think... I think if you do under... 33 minutes, 34, 33 minutes on deep tip as it stands right now. It is completely bonkers. So the runs we're talking about and the run we're showing, it doesn't really, I don't think, improve human potential on the map that much. But it's just like a cool experiment, you know? Like how fast can you actually get to the top? Also, a uh, couple of days, if you guys don't know, I don't play them that much anymore, so. People might not know the format. 
Um, we're playing against the other people that qualified for Division 1, top 64 players. And the slowest four each round here get eliminated. Right now those players are plus one and a half second and I'm plus half, so I'm fine. But it means I also cannot crash. Especially this last rift, I think is gonna be crucial to, uh, to clear. And then we're chilling. When is it EST? I mean, Eastern Standard, New York time? Six hours, right? So that's like 3 p.m. your time. Forty-five-seven, yeah, <laughs> insane. Seems awfully risky. Wow, that, that's crazy. That that's almost last. Wait, Alcon's point two ahead though. I didn't do a bad start. Should I have checked the records? Ah. I probably should have checked. I mean, I know it's inside pull, but he's gaining so much with it. Maybe it's a different setup. Oh, now I'm a little s feeling a little silly for not looking at that more. Go inside the start? Yeah, I know they go inside, but I tried it a bit, and I could not figure out how to gain significant time with it. Yeah, maybe if you set up wider... I'll try. 45-6, yeah, I know, he's crushing everybody, all right? I, I gotta try something here. I gotta try, before it's too late. I wanna be part of the club. But I'm already a tenth behind, you know? For the inside pillar club. Oh. This is not bad, though. It's very close. Whoa. It's actually so godlike that, uh... Kras here, the mapper, he changed... Was it Kras? No, Koloski. Koloski changed the um, edges of the dirt. They're more smooth than a regular dirt block. Where you might otherwise bump out and crash, you don't on these blocks. Who do I think is gonna win, Pia or Levy? I think Pia wins Classic. I think Levy... Maybe... Crushes and Blitz, though. That's where Lavi's by far the strongest. But it will be very interesting to see. I also wonder if... Um, if the fact that it's over the board and not online... Helps a lot. Because you can't pre-move. Talking about... A really sick chess match coming up, guys, if you're clu clueless. Where uh, Gotham Chess is playing against uh, Anna Kremlin's mom, Pia Kremlin. In person. Starts in a few days. Forty-five-six Regu. He's just <laughs> averaging <laughs> insane times here. What is her mom ranked? I think it's 2450. 2450. Or it's 2550. It's around there. <sighs> I mean I could just I could just retire. Oh, I want it to be cool. Yeah, I guess you could just retire here. You could just give up, but I will drive us to the finish line. Bonk. No, see, okay, but this is the perfect example, right? This is the perfect example. Trust yourself. Trust what you you want to do. Don't do what you think others want from you. 
Do what you want. I went for the inside pole because I wanted to be cool. But am I Play cool for going out smile. in 45th? No. It would be far cooler, in fact, to survive and play a good couple today with a slightly slower line. Trust yourself. Don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. And, and have a good time. A victim of peer pressure? I just wanted to be cool, guys. I wanted to sit at a cool table. And, uh, and I pay the price. 44th, at least? Yeah, we, we did pretty good result. Let's see. Who is in the coolest crew and who is going... Oh! Only a few people, actually. There's like 30 people going outside pole. And it does, like, at this point, can you tell who went inside or outside pole? Can you really tell anymore? It doesn't matter. Except if you're Alcon up there. Like, what the, what is going on? Oh well, guys, we learned an important lesson today. Next couple today, where there's a cool line, I will be more reserved. What an approach. Yeah, this is sick. Oh, dude, how? Are we watching a script? Joshua, thank you for the prime. He just, he drove another 68. That's like, it's insane. But the thing about Elkhan's playstyle is he's very much... He's gonna drive fast until he crashes. Oh, he air brakes there and then wide for the speed. And then no slide down the hill. How many people besides Mudda has gotten the 23 out of 23? I think only Mudda. Maybe Granati's had it on some uh, one of the new cars. But on stadium car, it's only Mudda. Oh, he missed the drift here. He might lose a round. He might get beaten in the first round yet. Yeah. Ruining the clean sweep. Oh, he's gonna risk maybe. Scrappy might save this last rift. No, he gets it good enough. The streak is gone. Oh, 07. Was Meta's couple today? Yes, it was. It was couple today. The, the crazy thing is, Meta won the qualifier first place and then proceeded to win every single round after. Every single round, guys. It's insane. Was there a full speed map? Yes, it was. A very hard full speed map. And he uh, speed slid better than everyone else. Oh well, oh well. I'm sorry guys, we learned from our mistakes. We're, we're gonna play another knockout tournament after this one. Which is called the uh, Mini RPG of the Week. So maybe already then I can change my playstyle. Oh, because this was not the best. Propanoia in trouble. Actually, no, he might be fine. This is so close for survival. It's between these two, Nitrofaint and Propanoia. Oh, actually, yeah. Link too far. Uh, Breeze Angle Prime. Apparently, Granati's gotten 22 rounds won out of 23. So he's he's gotten close to this clean sweep, but not gotten it. This man is still play? Yeah, he's, he's in the World Cup Final. In uh, two days, he's playing World Cup Final in Paris. I'll be casting it. That's going to be very exciting. It's, or semi-finals, I should say. A scrappy in World Cup? No. The eight players in World Cup playoffs are... Well, Otak, Mudda, Carl Jr., Binks, Massa, Pusita Paco, Epos, and... Pack. Those are the eight players. You might have heard of some of them, you might not have heard of the others. 
There are some that only play comps and don't play a couple today, for example. Brennan Gwen. Bren is protesting World Cup this year. So he's not playing. And Gwen tried to qualify but didn't get the spot. It was very close in the qualies. Yeah, the Bren, Bren, I mean, you got a feel for him. He, um, he won the World Cup last year when his duo was Otak. They played in a duo format. And then what happened is that they changed to single player this year. So it was duos, not single player. And they give the previous winner a spot in the World Cup, but they didn't give a spot to both Bren and Otak. So Bren says that they chose Otak as the player to give a spot to for literally no reason. And he didn't get a spot. I might get some parts of the story wrong, but, but that's the essence of it. So he's just like, this, I'm not playing this. Matt Hyper is specifying they gave a spot to Carmine Corp, which makes more sense. They gave it to KC and KC gave it to Otak. Yeah. But it's a, it's a wild situation. <laughs> it's a very wild situation. How's Bren not sleeping? He, he's changed his sleep schedule. I guess if they give two spots, it would be less interesting in the qualities. I don't know. It's hard to say what they should have done, but... But the result was obviously not going to be good for one of them if... One of the two players gets a spot and the other doesn't. That's not good. World Cup should have been, what, 16? Yeah, like... Playing quarterfinals online too, I don't know if that's bad. Like he could have just done that. Also, this looks like trouble. Maybe there's a save here though. Brand needs to pass two. That's one. Can he get flyer? Last drift. Full risk. Oh, he gets vortex. He's fine. Whew. Brand doesn't think the previous winner should get a free spot in the first place. Maybe that's good too. I don't know. I like it that you kind of... No, I like that. And I like it through chess as well. Like, as defending champion, you should play against the new challengers. And I think not... You don't have to do it that early on in the tournament. I think it's cool if as defending champion you get to at least semis, I think that's reasonable. In chess, you know they have the candidate system where you, all the candidates play each other for a chance to face the champion. Which I find really cool as a concept. Also, Elcon is just alone this entire cup. What time is this? Bro, point four. Qua? This year is going to be Ding getting trounced. I think Ding has a chance. Not the favorite, though. Anti is nice time, yeah. Not nice try. Like in other games. Close now, it's top 13. Are you casting World Cup? What time is it at? So it's in the morning European time. It starts 11.30 a.m. On Friday. What did you score in Cup of the Day today? I mean, I completely bonked Elkhorn! <gasps> He's lost! Uh, oh, seven, wait! Wait, there's a chance. No. Farewell. It, it was a good run for 14 rounds.
What the hell is European time? Central European time. CEST. <laughs> That's like what? 5 a.m. New York. Like 2 a.m. Los Angeles. It's 11.30 a.m. in Paris. Also, we have some mistakes. That's, there's three, though, which makes this interesting. Potentially a double streamer knockout. Depends on Neon. Opa. Granati passes one. Neuro crashes. They might both be in. Whew. Am I streaming World Cup? Yes, I will be. Oh my god. Holy. Goo caches him. Yeah, Goo has been really uh, improving the last few years. I'd also, I'd also bet on him to win. But I think Ding is going to make it closer than we think. I think, like, after Ding won the World Cup... Oh, sorry, yeah, World Championship. He, he fell into this, like, utter despair of pointlessness, you know? What am I gonna do now that I won World Cup? But then when the next one comes around again, I feel like you you revitalize. You pick up what you the the mind state you were in to win in the first place. Like he's a good competitor. Ooh. Hando. On the edge with 12th. 12th may be able to pass one. Not quite. Close round though. Nothing better than opening my eyes at 5 30 a.m. What's that cat emote? Is it B? That's how I'm picturing you watching the stream like. Welcome to the World Championship. <laughs> I think it's B. Alright, top seven, one knockout per round. Let's get serious here. We've been waiting for this. Opa, mistake! Summon into the wall, it was Granati. And surely, there will be no further crashes in this round. No one is going to hit the wall here. Because that would be silly. Oh my god, spam. No one's going to miss the last drift approach? No, they're all fine. Have you built a couple today? I've built uh, two. Two maps. What happened to Alcon? He got first place in 13 of the rounds. Second place in one of them, and then he crashed. And went insta out. How are we doing today? I'm doing great, Illusion Crow. I'm so excited. In about one hour and 20 minutes, I'll show you guys the... The segment of Deep Dip Run. We've been talking about it, but yeah. Basically what a perfect run on Deep Dip would look like. If you could drive it. Without making mistakes. Then we're playing a cup right after this. Called Mini RPG of the Week. Obstacle competition. A very difficult obstacle competition, but fun one. So we can try our best there. I'll drive more more safe than I have been here. Very close round, by the way. Raw Trex had the red split, but now it's maybe scrappy. Oh dear. Whew. What a battle. Scrappy out with a 0.04. Is he going to address the lip allegations? <laughs> the lip allegations? I have a, I have a blister. Is Anna still teaching chess? No. Um, but it's really my refusal to learn. 
At some point, I realized chess is more fun when you... When you don't try to learn? And you just invent your own opening, because then no one can call you wrong. I was so tired of hearing I'm playing the wrong move. So I started playing the W opening. And now I'm immune to criticism, because it's my system. So, <laughs> I make the rules. Oh wow, what an ending. Dude, he passed one, that was crazy. Opening theory is annoying to us, yeah. There's so much to learn. Which gives it longevity, but also it's just so many hours of study. You don't need it though. Like you, I mean, you really don't need opening theory until you're like... 1600 probably. Also, did the server die or what's going on? No. Something happened, oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, what, what, what? Prime time. As Bren will be out this round. It's a bug on the UI. Like, spam is already out. But I'm thinking right now, if I'm Hendo, I am laughing. I am struggling to drive from laughing. Because you, sh you should not be in here. Tactics, thank you for the 19 months. Crab, thank you. Blarg, thank you. Oh! <gasps> Raw oh, track so close to the wall. My god. Okay, top three. We got Raw Trek, so I think has won the least out of these three. Hendo. A uh, Hendo might only be on a few wins too. And Murray has won, I'd say, 20. I'm playing satisfactory since few days now and trying to air break with the truck. Well, I try it at least fine. I hope it's fun, Lynx. I met the... Uh, one of the developers of the game. Last year. Jace. Very nice guy. I've never played the game, though. Top three. Hendo in the back, but Hendo has a very, very good last drift. He always catches a lot of people there. So the others need to be ahead of him if they're gonna beat him in the last turn. It's looking rough for Raw Tracks. Maybe he can pull something out of the hat. Hendo has a good hand and so does Murray. It's gonna be the 1v1. Good luck. You're gonna watch Arcane Season 2. Is that finally dropping? Dude, Twitch chat is like the best news service. I don't read the news. So I'm getting like, oh. Love is Blind Season 7's out. I'm getting Arcane is out. November 16th, yo. Handle point one behind. It's still not over, but this is enough to get you a bit shook, I think. Good speed here, good angle. Gonna gain a little bit back. Down to point one again. This could be disaster, depends on this turn. Ah! Okay. It's point three. Point three in the last drift. It should be impossible, but you, you never know. He did it really well. He did it really well. <laughs> it's a fair attempt. It's a fair attempt, but yeah. Too much to close on the last jump. Still a good round, though. GG's. Guys, we're gonna go straight from this competition to the next. It's called uh, Mini RPG of the Week.